Konnichiwa, I'm the Manga Man, and welcome to another installment of Manga Man Mini Reviews. Today, we'll be taking a look at the romantic comedy anime, My Love Story, that came out earlier this summer and is still going strong. My Love Story follows our main protagonist, Goda, a huge, six-foot-tall, muscular-built, big-lipped, big, big bushy-eyebrowed, first-year high schooler. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, God damn, what did his mama feed him? Whoa. Who is having a bit of problem attracting the ladies due to his... all that. As the ladies are more drawn to his more handsome and soft-spoken friend, Suna. But Suna always turns down all the girls for a very special reason, and I won't say what it is, but if you watch the series, it's just like... Best friends for life, man! This continues to happen until one day he notices a groper on the train, and saves a young girl by the name of Yamato. Completely swooned by his muscular and handsomeness, the two start forming a very close relationship. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, another romantic, another romantic comedy anime. Like, it takes them so long, or even never at all, for the main protagonist and the love interest to get together. But you know what? It only takes this anime three episodes before Yamato and Goda become an item. Yeah! When I first saw this, I was like... Pfft. Oh my god, they've done the impossible! They've finally gotten the main protagonist and the girl... in a relationship! There is a god. And from there, the series follows Goda, Goda and his new girlfriend, Yamato, as they go through kind of the joys and struggles of first-time boyfriend-girlfriend. But don't worry, Suna isn't left behind. In fact, it was him that was able to get the two of them together in the first place. Best bro ever. The series is just downright adorable. Though for some people, it might be just a little too schmaltzy at times, especially with the character Yamato. I can tell that some people might find her uh, very like a komenisai, or her very like cutesy nature to be a little bit nauseating, though I don't find her too bad. There are some moments where, there are some moments in the series where you're looking at her and you're like, oh damn girl, you want that body. Mmm, mmm, that's a nice slab of meat, girl. Goda himself is pretty much an Adonis, and it's very funny at one point where Yamato tries to show off her boyfriend, which she honestly and truly believes is a handsome slab of meat. I mean, look at that. Mouthwatering. And her friends are looking at her like she's on the moon or something, like, This ape is your boyfriend? Not the totally hottie McHockster right next to him? Goda himself is a very loud and boisterous personality and is pretty much... and is pretty dense when it comes to a certain amount of things. But his heart is in the right place and he'll always help out his friends no matter what. Even when helping out his friends can take away some alone time with Yamato on her birthday in one episode. The comedy aspects can ebb and flow at times. Sometimes the comedy is just, eh, okay, but other times the comedy can set itself up. There's one episode in particular that sets itself up when Goda is trying to decide, like, I want to try to get into the same school as Yamato and consult Suna, and I won't say what the payoff for it is, but that payoff, man. <laughs> oh, wow. That is some funny shit right there. And it's, it's a really different kind of comedy that I haven't seen 
in a while in anime, like, usually the comedy is either like, Oops, I touched your boobs, or Oops, I saw your panties, or Oops, I am sleeping with you in bed, type stuff, or a lot of slapstick. But the comedy in My Love Story can get very, can get very smart and very silly at times. It's still going strong, so why don't you go check it out for yourself? I'm the Manga Man, here to say that there is an anime out there for everyone, and my love story is just the one for me.